Ron Keel, the Metal Cowboy here, wishing everyone a very happy March 26th. Thank you all for the birthday wishes, by the way. Yesterday, March 25th, was my birthday. But on this day in metal, March 26th, 1948, Steven Tyler, singer with Aerosmith, was born, can you believe? Tyler's 13 years older than me. He's still kicking ass. March 26th, 1962, Jeff Plate, drummer with Metal Church and Sabotage, was born. Happy birthday, Jeff. And I just heard that Jeff has left Metal Church. That news broke earlier this week. March 26th, 1965, Trey Azagthoth. I should be able to pronounce that, right? Trey Azagthoth, guitarist and founder of Morbid Angel, was born. March 26th, 1980, Van Halen released the album Women and Children First. I remember that day. March 26th, 1985, Slayer released the album Hell Awaits. March 26th, 1985, also Guns N' Roses on that same day that Slayer released Hell Awaits. Guns N' Roses performed their first ever concert at the Troubadour in West Hollywood. I might have been there as well. No, I was on tour with Loudness that day. Uh, March 26th, 1988, Iron Maiden released the single, Can I Play With Madness? I could play that right here and now for you on KBAD Radio, and I just might do that. March 26th, 1991, Metal Church released the album, The Human Factor. On this day, also in 1991, Mr. Big released the album, Lean Into It. On March 26, 2002, Hatebreed released the album Perseverance. And on this date in 2002, Randy Castillo, drummer for Lita Ford, Motley Crue, and many others, passed away. He was a sweet dude. Rest in peace and uh, God bless you, man. Ozzy, he played with Ozzy as well. Uh, Randy Castillo passed away on this date in 2002. Everybody, thank you for tuning in to This Day in Metal. I'm Ron Keel, the Metal Cowboy. Rock on.